in previous session you studied bond enthalpy and numerical problems based on bond enthalpy now today we are going to learn next point hayes law of constant heat summation okay consider one reaction a is converted into d in a one state and the change in enthalpy for this reaction is delta h this one suppose now if the same reaction is carried out in more than one state that is suppose a is converted into b then b is converted into c and then c is converted into d that is this is a first state then this one second state and this is the third state suppose the enthalpy change in a first state is delta h1 suppose for this it is 2 and for this suppose it is a 3 third state therefore 3 suppose then according to Hayes law the change in enthalpy of the reaction is same whether it is carried out in a one state or in a seven eight states that is more than one state means this is equal to the sum of this plus this plus this that is see here the is equal to of first state this one then for the second state this one and the plus this one okay actually the you know that enthalpy is a state function it is depends only on the initial state and the final state now see here this is the one way that is the one part here the initial state is this one and final state is this one now see this second part the initial state is this one and final state is this one that is you go through this path or through this path the initial state and final states are same therefore enthalpy change remains same okay let us see one example consider carbon in a solid state reacts with oxygen gas gives the co2 gas okay this is the co2 gas and the change in enthalpy for this reaction is minus 394 kilojoule okay now reaction here carried out in a one step directly carbon converted into carbon dioxide by using this o2 now suppose if the same reaction first this carbon solid reacts with half o2 that is with the one oxygen atom first gives carbon monoxide gas okay the change in enthalpy for this reaction is minus 110.5 kilojoule okay and next this is the one state now this carbon monoxide gas reacts with half o2 that is another oxygen atom that is one more oxygen atom gives carbon dioxide here the enthalpy change is minus 283.0 sorry 5 kilojoule okay now see here here the initial state for this is this one and final state is this one here same reaction is carried out in a two state the initial state and final states are remain same therefore the this enthalpy change is equal to sum of this plus this either it is carried out in a one state or in a two state the enthalpy change remains same because enthalpy is a state function that is a Hayes law okay next now you know that one more example see here solid is converted into liquid sorry solid converted into gaseous state enthalpy of sublimation you know this one it's a one state in one state now suppose here solid is converted into first liquid and here the enthalpy change is fusion enthalpy of fusion and then liquid converted into gaseous state here the enthalpy of vaporization now this plus this gives this one this in a one step and here 
two steps are there. Okay. Next. One more example. You know that the ionic solid. Okay. Dissolved in water. That is enthalpy of solution. Enthalpy of solution. That is here. This one. Enthalpy of solution. This is takes place in a two state. Here first separation of ions. That is crystal lattice enthalpy. And the separated ions then solvated. That is hydrated. Surrounded by water molecule. That is the hydration enthalpy. Now sum of this crystal lattice enthalpy plus hydration enthalpy. Gives the enthalpy of solution. It remains same. That is the Hayes law is the whether the reaction is carried out in a one step or in a more than one step that is in a stable step the change in enthalpy remains same. Okay. Now one more thing you know that Born-Haber cycle. Born-Haber cycle used for determination of crystal lattice enthalpy is based on Hayes law. Okay. Now let us see. How the questions ask on this part. See that part and then numerically. Now, statement of Hayes law. Hayes law states that overall the enthalpy change for a reaction is equal to sum of enthalpy changes of individual states in the reaction. Okay. Next. Now explanation. Can explain the Hayes law with the help of any one of the example. Just I have given one example: formation of carbon dioxide in a single step and in a two step. You can write any example with its explanation. That is, you can explain this with the help of one of the example. Next application. Hayes law is useful for calculation of or for the determination of enthalpy change of those reactions whose enthalpy change cannot be determined experimentally. Suppose any reaction, suppose its enthalpy change, that is, if it is not possible to determine the enthalpy change of this reaction experimentally, then you can determine the enthalpy change of this reaction with the help of Hayes law. Because you know the thermochemical equations. Thermochemical equations can be added, subtracted, divided or multiplied just like algebraic equation. Okay. Now the question asks on this part. See here. Suppose the question asks state Hayes law. One mark. Then write the statement of the Hayes law. Suppose question is asked like this. State and explain Hayes law. Then write the statement and explain one example. Okay. Next, suppose question may be asked like this. State and explain Hayes law and give the application of Hayes law. Like this. Okay. Now let us see the numerical problem based on Hayes law. That gives a clear idea about the application of Hayes law. How it is applicable? To determine the enthalpy change of reactions. Okay. Let us see numerical problem. Let us see problem. Calculate the enthalpy change for the following reaction at 298 Kelvin. Okay. Now see here. This is the equation for which want to determine the enthalpy change. How much? Okay. Next. Now these three equations are given along with their enthalpy change. Now what is our aim? Obtain this equation from these equations. Okay. Now for that purpose you can multiply, divide, add or subtract these equations in such a way that you will get this equation. Okay. 
that is our aim is to obtain this equation from this equation then automatically its enthalpy change is obtained from this that is from that enthalpy change okay let us see how this equation will be obtained now see here one by one see first this one h2b4o7 h2b4o7 required now it is available in which equation here it is available therefore take equation number three okay take equation number three now see here when you take this equation then along with this these are also available but see that observe this these are not required on this side in this required equation therefore it is necessary to cancel this one now 2b2o3 for cancelling this see that b2o3 is available here here 2 therefore it is multiplied by 2 now for cancelling this it should be available on this side therefore that is we require this on this side then and then it is cancelled therefore reverse this equation and multiplied by 2 okay that is plus reverse of equation number 1 multiplied by 2 okay now for balancing water weight okay just observe the equation use the simple logic and obtain this equation okay next see this one now we require this one it is available in this okay now it is 4 hbo2 now hbo2 is available here but we require 4 therefore it is multiplied by 4 okay now see here that is equation number 2 it is multiplied by 4 okay now see here what happens here 4 h2 and this one 5 h2 available on this side now this this multiplied by 2 therefore 6 h2 but reverse of this therefore 6 h2 available on this side and 5 h2 on this side therefore this 5 h2 and out of 6 5 h2 cancelled out and 1 h2 remained on this side which is required here that is water also balance now here okay now obtain this equation by this one now equation number 3 that is h2 b4 o7 solid gives 2 b2 o3 solid plus h2 liquid okay that is equation number 3 here here its delta h is 17.3 kilojoule okay Next, reverse of equation number 1 and multiplied by 2. That is this now on this side and multiplied by 2. Therefore, 2B2O3 solid plus 6H2O liquid gives. Now, this is 4S3BO3 aqueous. Now, it is multiplied by 2. Okay, that is multiplied by 2 means 28.8 kilojoule but it is reverse therefore the sign is also opposite now now this is minus 1 because we taken the reverse of this reaction we studied that in a thermochemical equation next now this is our equation number 2 multiplied by 4 that is this one is multiplied by 4 therefore 4 s3bo3 aqueous gives 4 hbo2 aqueous plus 4 h2o liquid okay now here its enthalpy change for this reaction now it is multiplied by 4 because this reaction is multiplied by 4 therefore minus 0 
zero eight kilo joule multiplied by four. Now add all these equation. See here H two B four O seven H two B four O seven solve it. Now this is all. Now next is one two B two O three. But see here two B two O three is available here. Cancelled out. Okay. Next now six H two and on this side four plus one five H two O. And this five H two cancel. Therefore, only one H two O is remain. Next, now S three B O three four. Here four S three B O three four S three B O three cancel out. Therefore, this side is over. Now see this one on this side cancel. This is four H B O two aqueous only. Now see that this equation and this one. H two B four O seven solid H two O liquid here this one then four H B O two aqueous yes we will get this equation here now in the same manner find out the enthalpy change for this reaction is equal to you added this equation similarly add this. Change in enthalpy. Now see here, this is minus and minus. That is twenty eight point eight and zero point zero eight. Therefore, eight 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 two twenty eight point eighty eight. This minus and this one that is minus twenty eight point eighty eight seventeen point three plus. Therefore, eight five one and here it is a one minus. Therefore. Is equal to minus one one point fifty eight kilojoule. That is the enthalpy change for this reaction. That is our answer. Okay. Now in today's session, you studied statement, explanation, applications, and numerical problems based from Hayes law. Okay. That is you studied in detail his law. Now, in the next session, we are going to learn. In the next session, we will see tricks, very important tricks to solve the numerical based on his law. Okay, we will see that in the next session. Very important trick. Okay, which is very useful for competitive exam as well as for theory exam.